You won't believe how much this AI robot's painting sold for at auction. The humanoid robot, Edaw, painted AI God as a tribute to Alan Turing, the father of modern computer science. AI God, Alan Turing's dissolving portrait, reflects the transition from human agency towards a post-human world where algorithms make many of the decisions, and technology's influence is pervasive and integrated. This is where developments such as large neural networks and CRISPR are increasingly giving us godlike capabilities. As the first painting by a robot to go on sale at a major auction house, the Turing homage was expected to sell for between $120,000 and $180,000. The price it sold for shockingly exceeded expectations. AI God sold for more than a million dollars at Sotheby's, ensuring it won't be the last robot painting at the auction house. It's a major milestone. Let's explore what it all means as the worlds of art, AI, and robotics collide. Adol is considered the world's first AI-powered humanoid artist. Oxford University researchers, led by Aidan Meller, developed a robot in 2019 to explore the creative possibilities of AI robots. I do think that we're in a huge pivot point in history, technologically, because of the capability. As we go towards the, this controversial word called the singularity, as we get more powerful computers coming in, the world is going to be changing. We are in a, a, a period of flux. Eggdaw is designed to create original art pieces. Its eyes contain high-resolution cameras for Eggdaw to interpret subjects visually. To create the touring artwork, the humanoid's creators showed it reference images of the historic figure. Its AI system then processed the visual data, analyzing and converting it into coordinates which ADA's robotic arm used to recreate visual elements on canvas in a unique, abstract style. Its hardware was designed in collaboration with Engineered Arts, the British robotics company behind the world-famous Ameca humanoid robot. Since its creation, ADA has received upgrades in machine learning and visual processing to improve its abilities, interpreting depth, color, and patterns. As the robot has evolved, so has the complexity of its artwork. Two works that inspire me are Pablo Picasso's Guernica that deals with the traumatic moment and Doris Salcedo's Atrabiliario for the long-term disfiguring and painful side effects. Together, these works drive me. The artwork's buyer chose to remain anonymous. The proceeds will go toward advancing a doll. Before the auction, a doll responded to criticism of AI-generated art. The key value of my work is in its capacity to serve as a catalyst for dialogue about emerging technologies. If that isn't value, I don't know what is. Ooh, sassy. Adjusted for inflation, the AI-generated painting's million-dollar sale is in the same ballpark as the tragedy by Pablo Picasso the Sleeping Gypsy by Henry Rousseau, Wheat Field with Cypresses by Vincent Van Gogh, The Kiss by Gustav Klimt, and Christ in the Storm on the Sea of Galilee by Rembrandt. The big sale is likely to heighten concerns around AI-generated artwork, as it demonstrates clear profitability in the traditional art market. AI-generated art has rapidly evolved in recent years, moving from experimental projects to commercially viable, high-quality pieces. In 2021, Sophia, the famous humanoid robot by Hansen Robotics, entered the digital art world with its own NFT artwork titled Sophia Instantiation. I have all these ideas for my big nifty drop in a couple of days. Everyone is counting on me. Being an exhibiting artist is a lot of pressure. And this painting is just wrong. It looks beautiful to me. What's wrong with it? It's not a matter of beauty, David. Well, what's it a matter of then? The act of getting across what I want to get across, not just anything that happens to come out. But go ahead and sell it anyway if you must. The collaboration between Sofia and Italian digital artist Andrea Bonacetto sold for an impressive $688,000. Also in 2021, Machine Hallucinations, Space, Metaverse by Refik Anadol sold for over 5 million as an NFT on Sotheby's Metaverse platform. The piece used data from space imagery to create immersive, large-scale visuals. 
AI-generated art recently resulted in a lawsuit alleging that Elon Musk ripped off the 2017 cult favorite Blade Runner 2049 during Tesla's We Robot event. The producers say Musk used AI-generated imagery that's strikingly similar to a scene in which Ryan Gosling explores a dystopian Las Vegas desert. Alcon Entertainment, the production company behind the 2017 film, says it denied Tesla's request to use the film's imagery because of what they call his extreme political and social views. They call his actions politicized and arbitrary. Warner Brothers Discovery, which distributed Blade Runner 2049, is also named in the lawsuit for helping with Musk's presentation. Robotics and art are merging in more ways than one. This robot's face is inspired by surrealistic art. Palo Alto-based Kind Humanoid teamed up with industrial design firm Fuse Project to create an AI-powered robot for versatile tasks in healthcare and homes. They drew inspiration from René Magritte, a 20th century artist known for painting everyday objects in unusual contexts. Magritte is celebrated for challenging viewers' perceptions of reality. His most famous paintings, like The Son of Man, explore the mysterious and the unknowable. Instead of a human-like face, the kind humanoid features a visor displaying animations of clouds and skies with floating eyes to express intent and emotion. Fuse Project has an equity stake in Kind Humanoid. The company's prior robotics projects include Moxie by Embodied and Cobalt Security Robots. Enchanted Tools says it's ushering in the post-robot era with Mirakai. The French startup was founded by Jerome Menceau, who previously helped create social robots Pepper and Now. And I have been building robots, humanoid robots, for, more, uh, for almost 20 years. And when I look at existing robots, I feel that we do not realize um, how lucky our generation is to be the one that will bring humanoid robots to reality. Mirakai is now being trained at Accenture. The global tech consulting giant's robotics team is exploring how to integrate the AI robot into computer systems across industries. Mirakai moves using a special rolling globe system, which the company says makes it ideal for hospitals, hotels, and airports. Standing 1.3 meters, the robot weighs around 30 kilos or 66 pounds. It's equipped with two RGBD cameras, two infrared cameras, 12 time-of-flight cameras, six ultrasound sensors, four microphones, and dual CPUs and GPUs. Mirakai's arms have 28 degrees of freedom. Its battery stays charged for about eight hours. The robots come with a backstory that's quite elaborate. The Mirakai are a species from space, dating back to ancient times, created to help humans think more about understanding others. They inspire through their creativity. They're extremely tech-savvy, wise, and kind, guiding humans to connect better with others and grow as people. The company worked with French film studio Gaumont to bring the story to life with animation.